All right, I'm on hole number six of the Monster Marsh Tournament. I'm in Monday's practice round, the Ricky Division, and I am just practicing today. So just going through some of the shots. There's a lot of these holes that I know exactly how I want to play them. Um, I know exactly how I want to play this hole. I want to play in this direction so I can get in my short iron range. But there's some of these holes that I'm still trying to figure out, you know, what the best way to come at it is. Um, and we're on hole number seven, which is actually hole number four of Sunshine Glades. And this is one of them. So if you watched the video I posted for the lower level accounts, I'll kind of go over this again. If you haven't watched those, if you got upper developed clubs, then here's the deal. In the past, I played this hole with a big topper, Titan, about one, one and a half less than max top spin. You bounce here, you bounce here, you bounce on, you're right up next to the cup, typically a little bit to the right of the cup because I don't put on any side spin. And I don't put any side spin because I want to make sure if I hit perfect here, I'm perfectly in the middle of this island and get on. In the past, I've taken this shot, I don't know how many times. I've epic failed it a few times. I've epic failed it where I ended up in the water in a tournament because I hit it great to the left. And then I turned around and I had to take the shot again and then I was on and I still ended up getting a birdie. But I've, I've never really taken this shot in any other way other than that. But the other day, me and one of my teammates, and I posted the video for this, one of my teammates, um, Eco, we came out here and hit perfect shot after perfect shot, and six times we ended up in the drink. <laughs> because it's taken some kind of graphic where it takes from this bounce. It's not about here. It's about the bounce from here. Instead of bouncing, hitting, and hitting here, here, and then taking a bounce and then coming over to the island and then bouncing over, it hit this spot right here and right before it hit it changed that graphic where it looks like it's going to go in the rough and it took this flat bounce and it literally skipped across to this island and then slid right into the water over and over and over again that is unacceptable i mean if that's the case then that's unacceptable so my lower level account you've got you have some choices you can lay up out here and then come at it with your wood Sniper works good. Viper works good. You can come out. It's a straight shot. Don't have to put on any side spin. Don't have to put any curl. Pretty straightforward shot. Lower percentage because you're shooting with your wood, but it's a great shot. The other way you can do it is, is that you can, you know, you're working off of this island right here. And with your extra mile, if you're bringing a big enough ball, you might be able to even get over to here. Is you can come up into this area and try and get into your wedge range and go at it. What I did earlier in my lower level account was I brought a big topper, bounced from here went to this area right here and then moved forward and I didn't I didn't use the wind because I was already deep into this hole and with the top spin that I have 100% on a big topper I ended up just a little short over here so distance off the on the on the club is not going to help you as far as here other than the fact that you can dig deeper into that little shadow area so I'm still unsure of exactly how I'm going to play this hole because I'm not playing this shot if, I mean, you know, if it's one out of two, like a 50% chance that you can make it. And if you don't, you try it again, you're on the green, you make your putt, you get your birdie and go home. That's one thing. But if you're out here and you're epic failing over and over and over and over and over again, that means that this is not a shot. I might as well just lay up here in the sand and then shoot over to this sand trap. I have just as good a chance of getting on than doing this shot over here. So now we're just, I'm just trying to work out what's the best way to do it. So there's several ways you can do it. You could bring a bigger ball and try and get over here with your extra mile and try and blast your way through. And you could use your big topper and try and land in here, but that is, you, you limit yourself. You have to hit it perfect. If you're bouncing from here with a big topper and trying to hit into this little teeny spigot of land right here and you don't hit perfect, you're either in the sand, which is not too bad, because you could still work your way to the green, but if you hit over here, you've got so much topspin on there, it might throw you off and you might end up in the drink. More than likely, you'd end up in the sand down here, but that's pretty risky. Especially if you caught it and you hit it two rings great to the right, you're in big, big, big trouble. So I'm gonna, so because this is a practice round, I'm gonna bring out several, several balls and see like what the distances look like and what the shot looks like. And then I may miss the first shot just because I time out. But I'm gonna see what I'm 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 working towards this area over here. Okay, the safe shot is to lay up. But I'm working towards this area over here, and I'm still trying to figure out if there's a way to get on one. So if there's a way to get on one, I want to go for the way to get on one, because this shot, which gets you on in one, is no longer viable. So I'm gonna bring an extra mile to start off with, because I know what the big topper shot looks like, and you can go back and watch the. Uh, 
the Monster Marsh Monday qualifying low level club for hole number seven and you can see exactly what this shot looks like and see exactly what I'm talking about but I'm gonna try an extra mile and see kind of like what kind of distances I get down here or what it looks like we're gonna run through some stuff this is why we practice and this is why you get somebody like me coming out here and practicing those shots so that you can maybe save yourself some some effort and then that gives you some opportunities to pick which shot you like the best if you're uncomfortable doing some of those shots, I will tell you right now, going out here and leaving with a, uh, some people say, well, you got to get an eagle on this hole. No, you need to get, it would be nice if you want to be at the top of the charts, it'd be nice to eagle this hole at least once, every round. Maybe you miss it the first time by and you catch it on the back. Maybe you catch it on the front and you miss it on the back. You know, that's going to be a game changer as far as putting you up towards the top three, but if you don't get an eagle on this, it's not going to, it's not like hole number four. Hole number four, you have to get an eagle. I mean, if you don't get an eagle, you're not going to be up at the top. But this hole right here, you know, it is a little bit of a variable. So my choices are going to be bag number one or bag number four. If I'm going for that shot, I'm going to take a Titan. And I'm going to start off with bag number one. Because I know what the big topper looks like. And I may change this to a Berserker just so I can see what it looks like with a 5 parabola. Just see how far I can get up in there. But we're going to try this shot. We're going we're gonna to measure distances here. And some people may watch this and go, Dude, you're not doing anything or you're not demo. Hey, we are demoing shots. <laughs> not every shot that you demo is an I'll be in the hole. you got to practice these shots. And you wonder why some clans or some players are, you know, do better in the tournaments because they practice and they're they look at different shots and they be critical of angles and they try out stuff that other people aren't willing to try out now oh, this is not the hole that I was expecting what hole is this how did I end up on this hole Yeah, I was on hole number six. Nah, I'm on hole number seven. I'm not sure how I ended up on this hole. What hole was I demo in there? This hole is going to be a sniper and a katana, so it's going to be my number two bag and a katana. So let's switch over to a katana and a sniper. We're going to do this right here. We're going to balance those out. I'm going to be up in this area and I want my blue rings wedged. Max backspin and as much side spin as I can get on there. I'm going right at it. It's about three rings. And I'm going to put on just a titch of curl just to bring it towards the hole. And I hit it great to the right, which took out all that curl and about twice as much. I was ill prepared for this hole. But that's definitely the shot that I'm going to take on this hole. You do not want to be long on this hole. This is a very low percentage hole in one hole. I don't hit a lot of hole-in-ones, and I don't think many people do hit a lot. Of, it's not that you don't get hole-in-ones on this hole. It's just not a high percentage hole-in-one hole. I'm going to miss. Good game. But you don't want to be long, and you don't want to be... If you're long on this hole, and the shots from the left-hand side, you take a risk of clipping that sand. If you mess up, if you epic fail on that hole... Um, and you end up long, you get a max over power putt. Let's see, what freaking hole was we on here? That's hole number six. For some reason, I was thinking I was on hole number seven. That was hole number six. Hole number six is hole number five. Ah, getting messed up because I don't know. Yep, that was the hole we were on, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so definitely in this one, I'm going to bring my 
QB or my sniper and a katana hitting from this area right here. Now this is only possible in Ricky, where you can hit from this area. Um, and pro, the distance deal, you're, you know, you're back in here with your red line and it's a really narrow area to try and do overpower on. So you're going to be hitting at it from this area. If I'm hitting at it from over here, I'm typically going to use this as a transitional area and I'm going to try and put um, probably anywhere from blue ring to white ring out so that I'm rubbed up three rings out. And then I'm looking for that second bounce to be on the fringe. And I'm going to put on backspin, side spin to bring me back towards the hole. Now the ball guide's going to look like it's going over here, but when it hits here, everything kind of goes to the right. But I'm really looking at that second bounce to make sure that that second bounce is on the fringe so that when I do the curl that I'm going to put on this shot, and that's one of the reasons why I'm three rings off, when I put the curl on and it moves the ball this way, I'm actually catching a little bit more of the fringe. But where you don't want to be is long down here because what will happen is is that it tends to it comes down the green like this and then there's a little bit of a dip and it comes up to the fringe area and what will happen is, is it looks like your ball is going to roll off into the fringe but it gets caught in this little bowl and you're on the green and it's a max overpower putt from down here you do not want to end up long having to make that putt and it's very uncommon for you to end up on the fringe and then take the chip to get up I mean, if you come at it with too much speed, you'll end up on the fringe, but the deal is is that typically you'll roll down the green and you get caught in that little bowl and you'll have a max overpower putt to get up to the hole. So it's better to just stay up here. If you're off like I was, take your putt, get your birdie, go to the next hole. Try and dial that in as the week goes on so that you're closer and closer and closer. But don't worry about it if you don't get a hole-in-one on this in a whole week because this is not a high percentage hole-in-one hole. All right. Sorry about that. I started that off. So we'll know exactly what we're going to do on the next hole, on hole number seven, based off what I did on the, uh, the beginning. So I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.